And welcome back to a beautiful starry night in Medieval Engineers. And uh, this morning I'm going to spend some time harvesting all this flax. I planted as much as I could. I've been so busy. It's taken so much time, but it's going to be worth it. And then I just kind of filled the rest up with herbs. And then there's yet more flax I was able to find over here. So we're going to work on that. Oh, let me show you something I also worked on. I filled all these up. Uh, basically to the brim with logs and uh, timbers. These are just stockpiles. You just you take a bunch of stuff and uh, you can only put one thing in here. This one only holds timbers. Um, over here are stone stockpiles. I'm not filling those up. Because <laughs> this is my ulterior motive for filling these up. Looks like a couple have already been used. That's fantastic. Um, I, I don't mind a little grind. I don't. A few of you have even pointed that out in my comments. Um, I, I don't want to mine. I don't want to go down into a hole and grind, above, grind up a bunch of rocks. So in order to kind of print myself a free pass on that and just borrow a lot of stone when I need it, I was hoping I would just keep the wood supply going so people don't have to chop trees hardly ever. So yeah, maybe that'll work out for me. That's not like a formal agreement. I haven't discussed that with anyone, but that's how I'm going to play it. So, the sensible thing to do would be to just go ahead and grab all this while the sun rises and try to replant it. So I'm going to do it. Okay, all picked up. Now, the sensible thing to do would be to get out this plow and get to work, but I I'm kind of thinking, like, what if we tried harder to figure out how we can craft that wheel? Because the wheel is the holdup between me and more mechan mechanized farming, is that what it was called? More advanced farming. Because if you look in like the normal crafting menu you always have access to, there is most definitely not a wheel in here. There's a campfire, that's kind of round, that's close enough, right? And I also got this carpentry table, because I, I can make that to see if it's in here, it's not. Um, and then, of course, it's also not in the regular crafting table. There's just no wheel. These are projectiles. So, I think what behooves me is to try to do some carpentry research because I never have, and I think maybe somewhere down that research line, it makes sense there would be a wheel. I mean, they're made of wood, right? Okay, so I have taken some time to fill up this research bench with things I need, and... I didn't put this personal flag here. I think someone left that here for me. I wonder if I can... Hey, let's take a little detour here. Let's see what this is all about. Can we hang this? Can I just, like, put this somewhere? What does it look like? Okay. Cool. Um, it's all clipped into the roof and stuff. We'll have to maybe find a better place for that. But I think for right this second, I'm feeling it. Uh, definitely added some color to the house. Okay, detour over. I added, see, th for this carpentry thing, we needed, um, let me take some things out so it'll tell me again. <laughs> 10 timbers, 10 large diagonal timbers, a wooden mallet, and a crafting table. All pretty straightforward, um, except the large diagonal timbers. I had such a time trying to figure out how to make these because in your inventory, when you try to craft them, they are not called large diagonal timbers, they're just diagonal timbers. So I was making that carpentry bench, trying to figure out, like, is large diagonal timbers just more advanced? Like, what is the difference? It took me a minute to figure out that, oh, they're the same thing. So if you're playing Medieval Engineers and you're trying to research carpentry, just bear that in mind. They are the same thing, even though they aren't exactly called the same thing. So without further ado, let's, let's become carpenters. Let's take the scroll, right-click to eat it. Yay! So, did that unlock any other research? Hang on. Hang on. Okay, now we have the little star on it, signifying that we know how to do it. Is this new? Wooden defenses. Um, I still can't do that. Mechanized farming. Ooh, wheel riding. Unlocks basic wooden wheel riding blocks. You can make wooden wheels and a catch block, whatever that is. 
<laughs> Yay! So I did the right thing. I researched the right thing. So now if I want this wheel riding research, I only have to make a wooden mallet and throw in 10 timbers. That's almost nothing. Look, this mallet um, is just a timber and five sticks. So basically we need 11 timbers and five sticks. And as I just mentioned, I made quite a stockpile over here. So that's going to be absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and get these. Here's a little three stack here. And go into my inventory. Craft the mallet. That's there. And then this should be about 10 plus a couple extra. Oh man, I did not expect this to go so fast. Okay, let's get a bunch of timbers in here and this mallet. And just as we hoped, this is now available to us. Let's make it. And we can eat yet another scroll. I'm just sitting around eating scrolls. It's a research frenzy. Oh my god. So let's look at it again just to, to admire the little star. Um, I, I always feel like this. I'm like, okay, now I know how to do it. Oh, wait, how do I do it? <laughs> so the first place I should check is probably in my personal crafting menu. I don't know what this is supposed to be called, but I don't I don't see really uh, a lot of change in here. So it is possible, I suppose, that it's in this crafting bench table thing. Oh, there is some extra stuff in here. Uh, I could not make stockpiles before. I was just bumming off of someone else's. But yeah, it looks like there's a few things I can make now. A barrel, okay. A windmill bla blade, oh my god. And of course, a coveted wheel, and it only takes two timbers, are you kidding me? Guys, I thought this was gonna be like, oh my god, like such a chore, just an unreal amount of work. Maybe not. Wheel, cracked. Oh, look at that, look at that. Okay. So, maybe, maybe mechanized farming equipment is in reach. We would need the wheel. We would need a large chest, five metal parts, and ten timbers. I'm going to use up all the timbers in the stockpile before anyone even knows that I filled it. That's okay. Let's just get them. I, I can always refill it later. I can always chop some more trees, and uh, it'll be fine. I know I needed to, what, what was the 10? I don't know, I got 15, that should be more than enough, right? My memory, not the best. <laughs> so yeah, we needed 10 timbers, just straight up. And then metal parts. Uh, I thought I had some metal parts laying around here somewhere. Oh, they're in this crafting table. Okay, was five enough? I bet it wasn't. Oh, it's just enough. Oh, I got so lucky. I don't really know how to make metal parts. I think you have to smith um, or smelt ingots in order to get them. And like I said, I'm not a miner. This time I'm not doing any mining. I'm not going spelunking. I'm not digging around in the stone. So I'll have to bum some of those if I need some more. Oh, we need two wheels. Okay. And then also the large chest. Now the large chest does require metal parts in and of itself. Okay. We've hit a little roadblock. Oh, no, we haven't. I have even more right here. Wow. <laughs> I just keep getting luckier and luckier. Okay, cool. Let's start crafting some things. First things first, let's get that wheel out of the way. Um, timber. There we go. Uh, craft the wheel. Cool. Now we need that large chest. Uh, four metal parts and four timbers. Okie dokie. I can... Oh, am I one timber short? Ah, okay, that's fine. I can just deplete some more stockpile. I'm sure no one will notice. It's not much of an exchange for stone if I just use all the wood myself, is it? Okay, here we are. Throw in the timbers. I wish I could keep this large chest. I really need some more storage. That's okay. I will just make another one at another time. Okay, now do we have everything? Put the box in, put the wheel in, and sure enough, oh my god, I, I'm like overcome with joy right now. I could just die. So let's make it. Oh, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. So much yes. Eat it. Yes. Mechanized farming equipment. And uh, you know I always like to see the little yellow checkbox there. Um, I don't think that unlocked anything further that we did not already have access to. So maybe that's like the pinnacle of farming. Maybe I'm a pinnacle farmer now. Uh, gosh, where would I even go to, to start? Where do I craft things that are related to this? I do not even know. Weapon rack. Okay, it seems dangerous. Wheel. Okay, obviously not in here, right? Um... Ooh, there are some cool things in here, though. We could really decorate a house now, guys. Okay, and it's probably not in this personal inventory. I didn't think so. Okay, uh, let's try over here. Hopefully this... Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, this one? No, not here either. Where do you build this kind of stuff, guys? Where do you build this kind of stuff? Out of desperation, I figured, well, I made my hand plow here. Maybe I could check this, uh, what is it, like a smithing thing? Uh, but no, no luck there, and certainly not in a furnace either. Although, indeed, this is where the metal parts get made. Interesting. So, uh, I was really hoping to do something fancy to replant my farm back here, but it looks like we're going to have to do it by hand again because I'm going to have to do some more research, not not in-game research, uh, to figure it out. So, ah, uh, darn it. I thought those days were behind us. They are perhaps not, but we'll get it. We'll get it. For now, I'm just going to start pounding the ground. Oh dear, I have fallen through the earth. There, there's our town. <laughs> oh my god, that was... That was crazy. Uh, my fear now is that, um... Yeah, <laughs> my inventory, right? Um, when you die, all your stuff falls into a bag on the ground where you died. Um... I believe that I died in the center of the earth, <laughs> so look, a bag. This has got to be it. Oh, I got so lucky. Oh, my stuff. Yay. Okay, it is finally day. I have done some things. I have filled these all the way back up. I've been chopping like mad, and I found a nice little home for this flag. I don't know who gave this to me. I really don't. I suspect... Maybe Weem or Kolohe, because Vortex certainly would not just bestow upon me a gift. <laughs> that would never happen. Uh, but yeah, I think for now all we have to do is wait for this flax to grow, and in the meantime figure out this research. So I guess that's gonna end it today. I will see you guys next time when we're mechanized farmers. See you then.